What's up guys, my name is Vihan Fernando from Truck Camper Lifestyle. Uh, today we are going to get some work done on the truck. It's a pretty big mess inside. I cleaned it up a little bit, but I have a lot of stuff in here from the back. Uh, so I want to get the camper part completed. Uh, I'm going to do some carpeting today and then have everything sorted into the back. Uh, and I also want to do some weather stripping to stop any water and dust from getting in. Uh, the shop is a bit busy today and it's going to be loud, so I'm going to try to keep talking to a minimum. Anyway, let's get started on the carpeting.
so as you can see we cleaned up the shop a whole lot um, I had to stop working because I need to get that we need to get that done and it started raining like crazy so I'm just gonna start doing the rest of the carpeting and then maybe arrange the drawers and then I'll go from go from there Okay, so now I want to put a piece of carpet in here. So I'm gonna clear my bed over there and then put the drawer on top and do some work there. After that, it's mostly gonna be moving stuff inside. There's a lot of things. I want to stack the tools to that corner there and uh, cooking utensils and stuff need to be in that drawer. I might put some tools at the very back of it, but I'm thinking twice about it. I might just do clothes. I don't know what I'll do. And then I need to get this cleaned. I have to come up with a solution for firewood. Okay, so I got the stuff moved and the drawer moved out. I want to put a piece of carpeting here, get that done. Uh, that's gonna, I'll be out of carpet after that. So after that, we'll have to buy more carpets. This is literally $4 dollar Dollarama carpet. And that is will cost me like $18. I did have some screws around, so I put them in. I think that'll make it last longer. Um, but yeah, it's working out pretty good so far. I'll let you know how it goes with time. Anyway, so let's get this part done as well. So I think I'm just gonna lift this up, squeeze this piece in and put the whole piece in there. Quickly get the additive on that. Hopefully you can see. is done I think I'm gonna do one here just because it's a long piece. I don't want that to come upwards, kind of. It's perfect. I'm just gonna send that in a little bit because it might interfere with the drawer there. That's pretty good. Let's see how this thing fits. I just have this piece left, there's no point. Not even gonna bother with that. See if I have more carpeting inside. I don't think I do. So I remember I got three carpets, I cut one up, so I had two remaining. Yeah, that's everything for carpets. I'm hoping you could see all this, but all right. That's perfect. Um, I still need to fix this window. It keeps opening up. Uh, I think I'm gonna get 
Charit's help for that and getting some weather stripping. This is not working like this. The bottom one makes a little bit of a difference, but the top ones here, they were not working. So I either glue it here or glue it here or put a nail through so it stays in there because the double side is the tape wasn't helping. All right, we'll put the drawer in and see what else we need to do. Maybe I should have waited till the blue dried. Just maybe. So a design flow I have is unless you put the drawer in very straight, if you take it all the way out, you have to angle it properly to get it in. There you go. Oh no, you don't. Okay, so I decided to put the gas here um, and I'm gonna put a partition there to make this stronger as well. Uh, I don't want to put it here because that blocks the access to the fire extinguisher. All right, we'll go cut a little sleeve off this off so that it fits. I'm gonna do it close to the door because I don't want to get this place messy again. This is a very bad idea to do with a circular saw, so because it's kind of risky. But so try not to copy this uh, at home. Okay, so I got it ground down to fit and it's actually quite snug, so I'm going to leave it that way. Uh, just so that... Um, just so that I can adjust the partitions as needed later on if I need to. So I'm going to leave it that way. Um, I'm thinking of putting this out back here. Just because I can get it out and I can close the drawer in a bit. And that way it's not sticking out too long. Uh, when I'm working, I'm planning to cook here. Uh, I don't know where I'll keep the stove because that space to for maybe it'll fit a cutting board on the stove there, so that might work out. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave that there that way I can close this a bit. Um, I will if I'm carrying more than more gas than this, I'll have them there. If not, I'll fill something so I doesn't move around. I'll probably have some utensils here and maybe I'll do another partition somewhere there that can hold uh, spice bottles and cutlery. And then pots, pans and the big spoons and stuff would go there. Um, finally, I'm, I think I'm gonna keep some tools here. I'll probably do a partition there as well so that they don't come in here. I'm not too concerned of them rolling through here because uh, this is just the stove, it's not... Uh, food anything food related plus none of these uh, chemicals or anything they that do so it'll just exist there uh an alternative i might do is get all these tools out put my clothes in there but then my clothes might start smelling like spices so there's that trial and error okay uh let's get this cleaned up a bit and get all the tools out and into bags. Um, after that, we are gonna try and work on the clutter inside. I'm gonna get the tool bags moved outside. That way I can put all the tools in there. I say well now.
Let's go get my friends out here. This tool bag I'm keeping for carrying to the junkyard or emergencies. You have most of the stuff you need in it. There are stuff that you still have to arrange. Okay, got the truck pulled out. Everything's finalized at the back. The carpets came out really good. Can open it quick. So this is what I did to cover the gaps for the beatings. I put my old beatings on the sides. Makes it closing it a bit uh, tiresome, but overall it works. So that's fine with me for now. The carpeting's good. I got the drawers arranged and got, I got the back arranged. Some minor things left to do, like putting in uh, things like spices, buying utensils and stuff. So that's that. For now, the firewood is going to stay here and I have a camping chair here. And I'm going to put camera equipment here when I go out. Um, driver's seat is the driver's seat. These are all tool tools. There's a first aid kit, there's some spare oil, things like that there. And the front seat, I'm going to keep it empty. Um, just in case I have to take a passenger. So that's basically it for today. I'm gonna uh, do a full walk around video of the truck and everything I've done to it at some point, but for this video, this is it. Cheers.